in Wichita, Mike Scroggins moves on with the 218-197 victory. He takes on the number one seed, Patrick Allen, next. Wayne Garber, he gets Walter Ray Williams Jr. to beat Mike Machuga, 257-244. And different oil patterns make a huge impact on bowling scores, but other than sport bowling or PBA experience leagues, all patterns are described as simply house shots. But USBC knows all house shots are not created equal. It's every bowler's invisible nemesis. Nobody can see the oil on the lane, and one bowling center will often play completely different from the next. If you're playing golf and you, you shoot 80 on a course that's 5,500 yards, or you go to a course that's 7,000 yards and you shoot 80. It's a totally different score, and, and that's what it should be in bowling. And that's why I really like what the what the USBC is doing with those patterns. The new USBC red, white, and blue oil patterns will provide a classification where previously there was none. Red will be the easiest of the three, with more oil in the center of the lane and more hook on the outside. White has more oil outside for a greater challenge hitting the pocket while blue will be one small step down from the tournament conditions the pros face. And there is hope that knowing what conditions exist at each center will be a good stepping stone to make some international headway. I think the more standardization we can get with patterns, uh, the better our chances are to become an Olympic sport. And we have uh, less ambiguity about how these patterns are and who's favored, who's not. And uh, we can move forward in a very positive direction from a sport. And it couldn't be easier to get these new patterns into your local center. As a bowling proprietor, my staff love it. The lane conditions can be downloaded free on bowl.com, which allows me to give my customers tomorrow's lane conditions today, which gives me the best value in the world. It's free to the bowling center. Red, white, and blue patterns are currently being tested in select centers all over the country, and the feedback so far has been really positive. The leagues that we've done testing in, have, they've definitely noticed that there's, there's a difference, but they've also said that while this isn't as bad, bowling on a white isn't as bad as bowling on a PBA shot, this is something I could work with, I could work on, I could improve at, and it's like taking that, that step forward without taking a giant leap forward, which is maybe too much for a lot of them. It, it's kind of like you know, going from green belt to black belt. That's what we had out there. And you know, If you're a green belt, it's really hard to just jump in and start you know, going against the black belt. But by having the different steps in there, it actually makes some sense and it progresses logically and helps them see where they need to go, see what they need to improve on. Look for the red, white, and blue pattern soon at your favorite lanes and log on to bowl.com to learn more. When we return, the top seeds are on the lanes. Patrick Allen and Wayne Garber, joined by Mike Scroggins and Walter Ray Williams Jr. in the semifinals of the Pepsi Red, White, and Blue Open presented by the USBC.